All right, hello everyone and welcome to the first stream of the season. So excited to get this spring 2022 season off to a good start here. We're looking to uh, get the win in week one here versus Southwestern Assemblies of God University. It's going to be Clutchshire, Watto, Ronan, Ognan, and Jericho for the Sagu Lions. And for the Post Eagles, it's going to be Cornflakes, Frosty, Chris Rammers, Chef Johnny Fuego, and Sir Meach. Strongest dog coach for the Eagles, and Crazy Kyle, the coach for Sagu. I think I'm just going to call them the Lions. Southwestern Assemblies of God University is quite a mouthful. Sagu sounds weird, and uh, they their mascot is the Lions, so I'm just going to call them the Lions. It's going to be Lions versus Eagles tonight. Nice Eagles NFL matchup. Agents. And we do have the team comp locked in for the Eagles. It's going to be Cornflakes on Astra, Frosty on Killjoy, Chris Rammers on Sova, Johnny Fuego on Reyna, and Meech on Jet. Meanwhile, for uh, the Lions, it's going to be Clutchshire on Rays, looks like. Yep. Uh, Wado on Sky, Ronan on Viper, Ognan on Omen, and Jericho on Sage. Love to see Chris Rammers on the Sova on this map. You know, it's a good amount of lineups. We got Meech on uh, his patented jet. And Johnny going to hold down the fort with the Reyna. Frosty has a lot of experience as well on this map with Killjoy. Eagle's going to start on offense here. Looking like it's going to be an A push. We've got uh, three ghosts for the Lions and three ghosts for the Eagles as well. The Lions uh, going with a 2-1-2 defense, it looks like, with Ognan holding down mid. Ronan and Clutchshire watching B. Oh, it looks like uh, Ronan's moving over to A now. Take flight. Chris gonna try to get some info with the owl drone while as the wall goes up in mid and gets broken. Cannot find anyone with the drone. And the eagle's gonna push in here behind their fearless leader, Meech. Frosty gonna get the plant down immediately. And it's gonna be a full retake now for the lions. Putting them on the clock early is the eagles. Still have yet to see first blood. Frosty does take down Ogden, but Watto trades one back onto Meech. Strammer's in a good spot here to see... Uh, oh, Ronan comes out and peeks him, and it's a 4v3. Johnny gets taken down by Clutchshire, a 4v2 now. Flakes, good job using the utility. Ronan does get the kill, though. Frosty gets another, but does get taken down by Watto, and I believe that is going to be enough time for Rona to get the defuse, and it is. And the Lions come out to a one-round advantage to start things off, winning the pistol round. Looks like they are going to bonus here. I should probably place some stars in the astral plane. You do. <laughs> hey Leo, what's going on? Good to see you, my man. He goes pushing up through mid here. Hyper wall goes up, they push right through. There's the omen smoke in mid as well. Ogden with two kills, Frosty takes him down. Looks like Jericho might be AFK. Johnny is the last player standing though, and he's surrounded, he's gonna get taken down. Uh, Jericho might be having some issues. He's back. 
just lagging. That's unfortunate. We are back now. Uh, Lions with a two round lead here to start things off. But the Eagles with some firepower now. And have a decent chance to win this round. Streamers trying to find somebody with run. the uh, Aldrone. As the Killjoy ult goes down, Frosty already able to farm that one up. Corflake's going to get the plant down. The Lions really committing to the retake here. The second time in a row now that they have uh, completely given up the point. Interesting strategy. It has worked out for them so far. Revealing area. Pushing up slowly through heaven is three. Another one going garden. Watto grabs a kill on Cornflakes. Nice shot there. Each grabs one. Two more for Chris Rammers and third for Johnny. And instantly everyone dead for the Lions. And the Eagles on the board. Two to one now. Frosty and Watto off to good starts here for their respective teams. Watto at 4-1 and one on the sky and Frosty 3-2 and two on the Killjoy. The ultimate last time helping the Eagles push into A site. But it looks like now they might be going B for the first time on offense. Johnny going to lead the push here on the Reyna. Nice bomb there. From uh, Clutchshire is going to get Johnny a little bit low. One point away now from Empress, but it looks like the Eagles might back off here. Firefight mid, double smokes go down. Dog gets instantly killed. Meech going up over the top is going to find a kill on Watto. Nice job using the, the jump there from Jet. Updraft. And the Eagle's going to rotate over to A. Nobody on the site here from the Lions to stop the plant. And Cornflake's going to get this down as Frosty grabs another one as he's watching mid here. Gets a second on Ognan. Frosty. Contrary to his name, off to a hot start in this early game. The Eagle's looking strong here to even things up at two rounds apiece. Now in a 5v2. Johnny about to find both of them. There. And then Clutchshire. Go down. There's one, and Chris Rammers gets both of them. And a flawless round for the Eagles as it's now 2-2. Two to two. Turn myself up. Is that better? Hello, hello. Test, test. I just turned myself up a little bit. Hopefully that's better. I don't have any music on or anything either, so... I did have a weird thing with my uh, headset earlier. I am at home today, because we're getting our lab finished up. Extra X, thanks you for the follow, my friend. Um, I am at home today because we're getting our eSports lab finished up uh, on campus. Oh, Johnny just barely missed seeing Mario there. Ooh, and the wall goes down and Ronan gets the kill. Meech and Chris Rammer's fine too, though. As Frosty watching for the uh, rotation here in an excellent spot to get a few kills. Let's see if they check the angle. Ooh, Watto grabs him. I think Frosty probably looking at the minimap or something. Didn't even get a bullet off. But yeah, earlier I was trying to plug in my Xbox controller to play some Rocket League, and I plugged it in, and Windows was like, did not recognize this device. It malfunctioned. And my headset just, like, stopped working. I had to uh, reboot my computer. It's very strange. Three v one now, and Ronan gonna get the final kill on Meech, and the Lions gonna go up three to two now. After the defuse, and a thrifty round for the Lions. I didn't realize they were on a save. That's great, great news for them. And the Eagles now down by one. Going into round six here. Full buys across the board. Four ultimates available for the Eagles, two for the Lions. Jericho was having some uh, 
lag issues earlier from the Lions. Hopefully that has settled down. Uh, still has yet to find a kill for himself, though. Lag could have something to do with that. Eagles looking to slow push onto B now. Kind of take their time. Meech pushing up with Johnny. Double duelists here in the corner. They're just yeah. going to wait for the wall to uh, break itself. Oh, they do finally break it. Jericho in the corner. Oh, Meech can't dash away and does die to the bomb. Looking to back off now. Chris Ramos gets a kill on Wado though. And Corflink grabs another, but two more traded back. Frosty, the last one standing, and Ronan is going to take him down. Four to two now for the Lions. Putting the Eagles on notice. Start things off. Full buys again across the board, but uh, very important round here for the Eagles as they're on the last bit of their uh, money. So if they lose this round, the next round will be a save. And then we're probably looking at a 6-2 scoreline. But no kills yet. Johnny going to pick one up. Ooh, Ronan does take him down. And another one. A third for Ronan. Finally gets shut down by Frosty, and it's a 3v2 in favor of the Lions. Flex was unable to get that plant down. Does grab a kill on Ognan. Wow, great flick by Frosty and Awato, and now it's very winnable for the Eagles in a 2v1. Clutch Sire, the last player left alive here for the Lions. Fantastic job by Frosted Flakes here on a site. Clutch Shire. They know where he's coming. Concealment. And there it is! Frosted Flakes gets the job done. And takes the round for the Eagles 4-3. to three. Should I play some stars in this reality? Four to three now. Cornflake is going to drop the Cosmic Divide here. A sight. Oh, or not. Eagles with full control of A sight. Chris Ram is going to get a kill on Jericho to start things off. <laughs> nope, not this time, Keramik. <laughs> Wada with a kill onto Chris Ram is a 4v4 now. Meech gets one back though. This Ogna was not able to find an entrance with the ultimate, but Wado chases him back very even still. 3 to 3. Nice remaining. shots by Frosty. And again, Frosty! Two kills for himself on the round, and the Eagles even things up. 4 to 4. He's doing some work for the Eagles Valorant team right now. Nine and four on kill drive. Four ultimates available now for the Eagles. Chris Rammers, Meech, Johnny, and Cornflakes all with those key abilities available. Let's see if they decide to use them here and try to take the lead. We got to stop. I cannot. Oh, 
Meech with an entry kill on Watto. Great job from him. He's coming up onto Heaven now. Gonna probably find Jericho looping around. Oh, he went low. Johnny gonna take him down. Johnny with another. One enemy remaining. Chris Rammers with a third, and uh, John Meech gonna finish off the round of flawless for the Eagles that time. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back. Sorry for that little hiccup in the stream. Uh, really unfortunate there. I'm not sure what happened. Um, but I did just upgrade my internet at home here, so uh, I don't know. I have I have no excuse. That's an uh, interesting satchel from Clutch. I think that was a misclick. <laughs> but, uh... Lion's on a bit of a save here. Three Spectres, a Marshal, and a Judge here for Ronin. Uh, doesn't have the ultimate available, though. Usually you see that combo. Ooh, Beach was looking at the wrong angle. But it didn't matter. Great job getting that kill. Good spray control. Dashes away from the grenade as well. Gonna close the door behind the Cosmic Divide. An excellent play. Coming out here for the Eagles. Scornflake is gonna get the plant down. And the Lions rotating over very slowly. Two players still on A. Here. Here. And uh, they're gonna really be rushing against the clock soon. Each gets blinded and throws down the uh, s smokes for himself. A bunch of players just walk right at him. Cornflakes grabs one though. 4v3 now. In favor of the Eagles. Cornflakes gets another. It's a third! Ogden finds Chris Rammers though, but uh, Lion's out of time. Oh, Cornflakes can't find the last kill and he has to run away from the bomb. But the Eagles now up two. Lions with buys now, though. Uh, near full here. buys. Ronan with the Spectre and Light Armor. Otherwise, full buys. Full buys for the Eagles. Meech with the Judge. I gotta see this. Oh, he doesn't have it anymore. He just picked it up at the end of the round. <laughs> I was about to be like, oh, Pog. Here. Thanks for watching, by the way, everyone. Excited to get this season started. Peppering this wall with bullets after it goes up, but nobody was there. I want to watch Chris Rammers here. He's looping around the back side. Take We're going to get some info with the Al drone. <gasps> oh, he just missed! That's so sad! Oh, but Meech bails him out. Johnny trying to find the kill through the smoke. Finally does. Activates Empress. Ooh, is gonna take some damage from those bombs though. Nice shot onto Clutchshire. Heals himself up. Can't quite find Ognan back there. Has a decent idea where Ronan is though. He's watching the corner. Oh, Ogden actually protects him with that smoke. And he's going to teleport over to the right side. He knows where he is and finds the kill. Great spray control. That's three on the round for Johnny. Frosty finishes the last one. And the Eagles now up seven to four. Oh, and Cornflakes gets the plant money. Not that it's going to matter. Last round of the half. Good form, though. Good form. Everyone contributing for the Eagles. Only four kill difference between their uh, top frag and bottom frag. And it's a gun party over here. What is happening? <laughs> Get out of my way. Knives come out here for Meech. Let's see if he can find something. Double updraft over the top, and no one's there. So he floats over on the top of the wall, but dies to Ogden. He knew exactly what he was trying to do there. And it's a four, 5v4 in favor of the Lions here to start off round 12. 
Oh, Cornflakes had a very narrow peek at uh, Jericho's head there, but couldn't find it. Johnny grabs the kill. Ronan gets one, but Frosty trades him back, and it's a two for one on the back end, and then now a three v three v three. Very even now. Eagles looking to go up by four at the half. Rotating around to B site. Cornflakes going to be dropping those smokes. Is it going to be Frosted Flakes again? Finishing the round? We're about to find out. Frosty with the spike. Going to get this plant down. Sagu again very... Oh! They have a DC. Uh, pause. Can't pause. Uh, can someone pause? Oh, it looks like he's back? I think he's back now. Someone DC'd from Sagu, but I guess they're back now. Johnny finds a kill. Cornflakes with another. One enemy remaining. Cornflakes with again another kill. Wado with not enough time here. Great flick by Johnny. Johnny's going to get his third of the round, and the Eagles are up 8-4. to four. Uh, Switching side. And that's the half. Asking if they need a pause. For their disconnect. But we are at the half. Eight to four Eagles. Economy is reset. It's gonna be three ghosts for post and three ghosts again for Sagu. Sagu? Sagu? S A G U. Southwestern's Assemblies of God University. Learn hope is there, poor sir. Chris Rammers and uh, Frosty are gonna be watching this B site together. Do kill the recon bolt, but they know at least one person's back there. Very slow on the attack here. Taking their time. Using the walls. Viper. Each looping around behind. Can't quite find the shots, though. Watto finds one onto Chris Rammers, though, and Ronan a second. Johnny trades one back, though. But now it's a 4v2 in favor of the Lions. Lions have been doing a fantastic job on pistol round. Ooh, Johnny just barely didn't see Watto there. Finds one. Finds another. Three kills on the round for Johnny. Four? Can I see an ace on pistol round? Johnny? No, Frosty's going to rob him. <laughs> but Johnny. 4k Johnny again. What a man! Pulls that round from the brink of defeat for the Eagles, and they're up 9-4. to four. Loved what Johnny did rotating all the way around there. Coming at them I'll from the back him. angle. And he hits his shots. Ahead. Recon Bolt is going to reveal Ronan, and he's going to hightail it out of there. He goes pushing up aggressively on defense here. He's just going to be around behind them. Gets one, gets two. Great spray control. And a third, Meech. What a great play. Eagles just getting weird, and they have the spike now. Oh, Ronan finds cornflakes, though. So he did not check that angle. Frosty has a decent idea where he is, and great crosshair placement is going to do it for that round. Ronan had a very low chance to win that round, anyways. He would have had to fight through all five members, grab the spike, and plant it. But it was not to be, and it's 10 4. 
Eagles a couple points away from a game one victory here to start off the season. The matchups in week one are always random, but uh, it's always good to get off to a good start. And, you know, sometimes you just come up against the full Immortal team, and other times matches a bit closer. So we got lucky this season. It's going to be a pretty close game, looks like. Eagles up to a strong start, though. Each and Chris Ram is pushing up aggressively again on defense. Oh, and he knows where he is. Great patience here from Nietzsche as he gets the spike. Oh, but Watto gets them both. Ooh, Johnny going to take a lot of damage from that grenade. Finally gets out of there. Goes down the blind. It's one, but can't find Ognan. And it's a three for uh, three v two now. In favor of the Lions as they are going over to A site. As Frosty's turret gets taken out, and it's Frosted Flakes again here. Can they clutch the round? Jericho's going to take out Frosty. But here's Corn Flakes. Jericho very low. Does not have the heal available. Clutch Shard going to get the plant down. Corn Flakes going up on this high ground. What a flick from Corn Flakes! Takes down Ognan. 56 health left. Jericho very low. Just needs to land one little shot in him. But uh, Clutchshire is at full health. Cornflakes needs to check the right angles, and he doesn't check hell. And uh, Sagu comes away with another one. Cuts the lead just a little bit. Trying to start that comeback. But yeah, you all may notice, uh, just in general this season with all of our games, matches should be generally much more even. Uh... ECAC decided to split their competition into Division A and Open Division. Division A is basically for the highest level of competition. One, only one team per school is allowed in Division A. Uh, better prizing. All of that. This Empress gets activated here from Johnny. <laughs> Knows Jericho's up there. Couldn't quite find him. Uh, and all our teams are actually in the Open Division. This is the Open Division uh, ECAC Spring Season, as Clutchshire gets the kill on Johnny. Ooh, good uh, peek there from Jericho. It's a 5v3 now. Frosted Flakes and Chris going to have to try to clutch this one out, but Ronan grabs a kill on the Corn Flakes. Jiggle peeking here from Chris Rammers, but Watto going to take him down. The firepower advantage here for the Lions gives them the flawless win. Good round there from the Lions. But Eagles still with a four-round advantage and with some money in their pockets this time. Oh, no, I lied. They're going to be a uh, full sheriff gang here. Johnny, by the way, has been popping off the last few rounds. 16-7 and seven now, leading the charge for the Eagles. Ronan doing the same yeah. for the Lions, 15-11 and 11 on the Viper. The Lions grouping up for a strong A push here, it looks like. Johnny, here's one. Oh, goes for the right click, but can't quite find the kill. As the knives come out from Meech. Watto grabs another one on Cornflakes. As Meech cannot get a cheeky kill over the wall. And the Lion's looking to take care of business here on this advantage round. Viper ult goes down. going to make it very difficult for the Eagles now. Great kill by Ogden onto Meech. Rona grabs Frosty, and it's Chris Rammers in a 1v5 now. And it's two flawless wins in a row for the Lions as they're clawing their way back into this one. Cutting the lead to three. But the Eagles now finally with some cash in their pocket. Going to look to go up 11-7 to seven here. But it's going to be near full buys across the board for both teams. Meech now with an op in his hands. Here. Let's 
see what he can do with it. Lions playing slow again. Johnny about to find three. Whoa, great flick. Gonna find one. Throws up the blind and gets out of there. Good decision there from Johnny. Waiting for his team to back him up. Conan finds one on Frosty. As Ognan goes over, but they didn't see him go across the gap there. Meech with a nice shot. Tawado can't find a second though. is revealed. They know where he is. He was able to get out of there, though. Ooh, Johnny caught with the utility out, and Clutchar gets two. Last player standing. Chris now the last player alive for the Eagles. As Clutchar picked up Meech's op. Looks like they're gonna go uh, plant on B site, actually. Uh, Lions very split now. Ooh, I think we heard him. Yep, he sure did. And Chris gonna find one. But Clutchshire was watching that angle. And the Lions making this a game out of it. Have won the last four rounds in a row. And it's now 10 to 8. Eagles starting to sweat a little bit. Hey, Cassip, how's it going? No prisoners. Let's watch anybody. This this has turned into a very close match. But the Eagles were going to run away with it for a minute there. But the Lions have definitely uh, shown their grit and determination here. Winning these last four rounds. Looking to make it five. Playing very slow. Eagles on a save round. So this is going to be uh, the Lions round to lose. Clutchshire still with Meech's op in his hands. They really should just be powering through here. Knowing that they have a gun advantage. Forty seconds to go in the round, still no kills. Ooh, Johnny almost finds one, but they get him through the smoke. Through the wall, I should say. Thirty seconds left. It's gonna be full push onto A now. Ooh, Cornflakes finds one. Ooh, Meech with another. We about to see a thrifty here. Ogden gets one. Up. Whoa, what a great shot by Meech. Gets away from the uh, grenade as well, and the Killjoy ult goes down. Oh, and Meech gets his third of the round. Oh, but there's the raise ult, but Frosty's going to stick the defuse. And the Eagles win the thrifty round. Huge. Absolutely massive. Great teamwork there, as the defuse was stuck. And the Eagles now up by three, 11 to eight. Just gonna promote the stream real quick. Slow start again here to round 19. Whoa, great shot by Clutch. And Johnny hits the floor. Deploying drone. Door 
door gets closed and uh, Lions occupying B site here. Ogden is revealed. He's taken track. very low. Chris Rammers with a nice shot onto Clutch. Watto trades one back though. Chris Rammers with another. Meech trying to find him through the wall. Has to reload and Ronan can save down. Chris Rammers with only 11 health left. And Ronan finds the last kill. Very gritty round there for the Lions, but they come away with the win. And the Eagles up 11 to 9. Could see an overtime here. Keeps going this way. Keep up. Eagles on uh, a bit of a save round here as well. Some A, a little bit of firepower. Great shot by Meech. Ooh, can't find the second though. Nice dash away though. There. Lions playing things slow. Ooh, Cornflake spotted him over there. Obscuring vision. Only a classic to his name, though. Just trying to make use of his utility here. Buy some time. Get some intel. Viper wall goes up. Johnny grabs one. And Cornflakes has another with the classic and gets out of there. <laughs> Johnny with another. And I get a third. Come on, Johnny. Give it to me. Yes, sir. 12 to 9. Eagles now on match point. Great round from Johnny. Match point. And while the Lions have fought valiantly, they're now staring at a triple match point. And the Eagles with nearly full buys now. Or er, should be full buys. Chris Rammer's sitting on a lot of money. Not sure what he's doing. Finally bought his heavy armor. Standing ahead. Oh! Chris, please! Oh my god! <laughs> They're all there! He finds one! <laughs> that is the dream as a Sova player right there. They're all just lined up there for you. Can't find anything else to reload. Cornflakes takes him down though. Rona with a return kill onto Meech. V2 now, in favor of the Eagles. It's going to have to be one heck of a clutch here for the Lions to continue this map. With only Clutch Shire and Ronan alive. And here they come, and Johnny is ready. There's one. It's the invisibility, and Frosty finishes the job. And the Eagles win map one, 13-9. Valiant effort for sure from Southwestern Assemblies there. As the Lions come very close to taking that first map, but the Eagles do come away with it in the end. Ronan the MVP for the Lions, 267 combat score, 21, 14, and two KDA. And Johnny the MVP for the Eagles with a 265 combat score, narrowly beating out Meech just by two, 21, 11, and four on the KDA. And the Eagles up one in this best of three. We'll be back in a few minutes with map two. Don't go anywhere.
Sorry I kept you waiting Forever and a day But now we're out here together With nothing standing in our way Can you feel the attraction? Feel the attraction Can you feel it between us? This energy's inside us like electricity All right, we're back. That was a short break, huh? No break needed here for these two teams. They're just ready to get right back into it. Map 2 is going to be bind. Ooh, we got some nice spicy agent selections here. Uh, Meech going to be rocking the chamber. My first time casting chamber. That'll be interesting. Uh, Johnny's going to be on Reyna. Cornflakes on Astra. Frosty on Viper, Kostramas on Sova. Meanwhile, for the Lions, Ogden on Sova, Jericho on Cypher, Watto on Sky, Ronin on Viper, and Clutchshire on Rays. So very similar composition that we saw on Ascent from the Lions. Eagles coming out with something a little bit different, though, with putting Frosty on Viper and Meech on Chamber. Eagles going to be starting on defense this time. Frosty with the lineup. Ooh, very nice. The line's looking to be pushing up to B here. Possibly through Hookah. Here. Three ghosts for both teams again. Start off this pistol round. Let's see if uh, Lions can continue their uh, Concealment. Blocking vision. excellent record so far on pistol round. Watching here. So it's a slow push onto B. Very slow push. Otto finally peeks out and is going to take down Cornflakes. Chris Ramos trades him back, though. Down, one for B. one. Ooh, did get hit by the spy cam dart. Has to take that out quickly. You better go fast, and Watto peeks around and gets him. Teleport Shot down. there from Watto. Johnny all alone now on the point. About to find Clushshire. Was looking at the ground trying to pick up a gun. Johnny gets the heal, gets another one. Jericho low on health too. Johnny could get three easy. There's three. There's four Johnny, please! Again! 4k Johnny gets the defuse as well. And the Eagles come out to a strong start here on Bind. Johnny just asserting his dominance here on this Reyna. Interesting. Some interesting buys here, though. Uh, four Spectres for uh, the Lions really investing heavily in this next round. Whereas Johnny is... Uh... There we go. He is going to buy a Bulldog for himself with, with some heavy armor. Another push onto uh, B site. Lions very spread out this time. But Ronan actually rotating around. Johnny's gonna find him. Can't find the kill though. Meanwhile, four members from the Lions pushing over on towards B site. There. This is actually gonna be a very even round. Finished. Nice shot there by Johnny. It's fifth of the game, and we're only in round two. Watto trades one back on a Meech, and it's a 4v4 now. Cornflakes with one. Gets a second. 
Gets revealed. Gets revealed again. Is running around like crazy, trying to get a cheeky right-click kill, but can't do it. And it's a 3v3. Chris Rammers can't find anyone. Frosty trades one back. And Johnny with another. And Johnny yet again. Providing such value for this Eagles team. Six kills over two rounds already. As the primary duelist here for post. Meech here, Meech Pog over here. Not coming towards them though. Looks like they're gonna be pushing up through Hookah. Cornflix is ready with the utility. Hiding from the Roomba. Blocking vision. Ooh, here's that teleporter. Concealment. And now it looks like they're backing up and going over towards A site. Johnny finds one, gets a headshot, but can't find the kill. Oh, couldn't quite get the blind on Ogden in time. Two kills for the Lions, but one traded back by Cornflakes, and another one by Ogden, though, and it's a 4v2 now. Frosty can't quite find the kill. Ronan gets another one. And Cornflakes now in a 4v1. Everyone pinged a little for a little bit of damage, though. Honestly, winnable. He hits his shots. There's one. There's two. He's got to reload. Hides from it. Oh, he almost clutched that out. Does manage to get three, though. Very important for the economy, even though they didn't win the round. As those guns will be lost and will need to be purchased again by the Lions. But they're on the board now. Uh, it's, and it's two to one. But Meech. Going to be looking at Meech this round. Because guess what, everybody? He's got an op. For those of you new to Valorant, that is short for the Operator, which is the strongest gun in the game. It's the... Uh, one shot sniper rifle. You can kill anyone, even if they are in heavy armor, with a shot to the body or the head. And in the hands of the right player, it is absolutely suffocating. Because Meech watching this angle, Jericho just biding his time and waiting. Oh, he goes away right as Wado was about to. Uh, Peek that angle. But here comes Ronan. Empress gets activated by Johnny, I believe. Yeah. This Clutch Sire actually pushing up all alone, and Chris is going to take him down. Wow, great kill by Frosty there as he was jumping over Meech with another one with the op. Frosty with a third. And it's a 5v1 now. Eagles on the verge of a flawless, and there it is! Frosty with three kills on the round on the Viper. With Meech in support. With that op. And it's 3-1 to one post. Full buys across the board for the Eagles. Lions on a bit of a save here. Three light armors, a couple specters. It's going to be pretty close, though, in terms of firepower. Another push up onto uh, B site. Standing ahead. As Chris is going to reveal a couple of them, but gets on out of there. It's playing every round very slow and methodically. Shark Dart doesn't find anyone. Second one doesn't either. Cornflakes takes some damage there from that grenade. Is going to be able to get it. Whoa! Great satchel there for Clutch, but Meech and Johnny get one each. It's a 3v3 now. Smoke goes down and blocks Meech's vision. 
Ooh, gets stunned up. Only has one bullet left in his chamber. See what I did there? Looks away from the blind. He's got to make this last shot count. Shot. Ten seconds left. Rona has to get the plant down now. He has no time. Let's get it down. Can't find the kill as Meech, but Frosty backs him up. He's gonna have plenty of time to get this defuse. And pick up the operator. Yeah, I actually just remembered I forgot to change that. We are up one to zero. Boop. It is fixed. Nine rounds away now from a week one victory. The Eagles looking to be cruising here through bind. They have historically done very well on this map against most teams. Another good setup there from Frosty. So basically what that does, for those of you new to Valorant, is uh, when he puts that little orb there over the doorway and activates it, it comes out in a, in a circle. Johnny gets one kill here, and it allows him to see people's feet as they're walking up. But it really obscures their vision. It's called a one-way. Johnny with another kill. Ogden going to be firing off his ultimate. He does not find anyone, though. Just terms another fantastic crosshair placement from Johnny as he gets his third of the round, and it's a flawless for the Eagles as Frosty with one more. With the judge inside that Viper ultimate. So deadly. goes on the box like that. Lion's looking to play it safe and slow again here. Flicks up on these boxes. About to find them pushing up through uh, through showers. Vision. Oh, that's interesting. It won't find him. <laughs> it can't get up there. They know where he is, though. Oh, no! And Watto tried to take his utility out. And Cornflakes just takes him down. Johnny with another one. One enemy remaining. Flakes with another kill. And it's a 4v1 now. Thrown in the last player alive. For the Lions. And Johnny, excellent job staggering those bullets there to maintain the accuracy from long range. And Liz with just 14 health left and gets the kill. Johnny with 2.0 average kills per round so far. On this reign of 14 and 2. Each has been uncharacteristically quiet here, but a great op and teleport away there. Finds the kill on Ronan. And that's exactly what I was just talking about earlier. The power of that operator in the right hands. Just make it so difficult for teams to push, especially down long sight lines. Like you just saw there on B. I think they know Johnny's in here. Oh, yeah, they know for sure. Finds one, but Jericho does take him down. His first kill of the map, but Mish immediately ends that. Nice shot by the operator. Revealing 2v4 enemy. now. It's going to be very difficult for the Lions to win this round. 
Sheriff's pushing up aggressively. The info from his dart also has the ultimate available. If he so chooses to use it. Ooh, tried to look away from that blind, but could not do so in time. One Cannot turn around remaining. to find Ognan in time, but Frosty gonna trade that one back. Good job watching sight lines. Ooh, he takes the teleporter. Oh, and Corflake's guessed wrong <laughs> coming through the teleporter. But Wado only has 10 seconds left to plant. He's got to get on point right away. And Meech is waiting for him here. Oh, he just barely missed. He stopped the plant, though. And he has no time to plant. That's the round. Fantastic job from Meech. And he finds the kill in the end. Three kills on the round. Cast or curse, right? Man, you just get on characteristically quiet. Boom, he drops three in the round. And stops the plant. That works. That's a good spot. The chamber is actually a fantastic opera because it's very similar to Jet. You can find that kill and then just teleport away because the teleport is instant. Unlike a character like Omen, who has to channel it. So he just snaps his fingers and goes right back to his other card. Just like Jet can, uh, just like that. Just exactly what I was just saying. Finds the kill and just snaps back. Beautiful stuff from Meech and Johnny as he finds yet another kill. 16 and 3 now. Great shot there by Cornflakes. As the Cosmic Divide goes down. Teleport's gone. Shock dart there from Chris Rammers. So he's just jumping over the top of this and firing op shots from the hip. But uh, Jericho going to take down Cornflakes and the Cypher ultimate coming down now. It's a 4v2, but the Lions know exactly where all the Eagles are. Oh, wow. Nice tag through the boxes by Frosty. Yes, the wall bang. And it's seven to one. Eagles looking very uh, strong to go to eight and one now. Ooh, Jericho does find left. one though. The hatless cipher is on a rampage. Four kills. Wow. He takes the teleporter away. He's going over to B site, and Jericho just comes out of nowhere here after not having a single kill for six or seven rounds. Just pops off. And he's got an ace on the table now if he can take down Frosty. He's going to have to surprise him, though, as he only has a sliver of health left. And Frosty is almost full. Frosty doing a good job not just going for the defuse and checking all those angles. Oh, and there he finds him. <laughs> so sad for Jericho. That would have been an incredible clutch. But Frosty says, no, not today, my friend. Not today. And it's 8-1 Eagles. Again. He's setting up those cards again. They are so dead. Ooh. He's going to go with the ultimate here. So Chamber's ultimate, for those of you who don't know, basically spawns an operator for himself. Which you see on your screen right now. It's a very good scope. Gives you a wide uh, field of view. As Ronan finds an entry kill onto Cornflakes. Shramers trades one back, though, and is able to run away from the grenades. Jumps up and sees one in Hookah. Nice flick over there onto Wado. Gonna find another kill. Each finds one with his ultimate gun. But Ognan gonna silence him for now. And Chris Hammer's pushing up aggressively. Oh, couldn't quite find the kill on Ognan. Barely missing that headshot. And Frosty now the last player alive for the Eagles in a 1v2. Is gonna find one, but only 30 health left. And Ronan is full. With the spike, he is going to teleport over to A-Site. Frosty now going to run over and try to follow him. The Viper v. Viper. Boys and orb are 
Oh, didn't check the right spot. And Ronan with three kills on the round. Puts the lines on the board. Doesn't quite get that plant money, though. But the Eagle's still with full buys. Two more rounds to the half. Just with a six round lead. Till that last round had won six in a row. But the Lions just stopped the bleeding. Kill to start Five things down, off here for the Eagles. As the spike is down. Oh, Cornflakes had to run away from that incoming blind. Ronan finds the kill on him. And Johnny now all alone. Flanking around. Gonna try to find some kills, but little does he know that all of the Lions are grouped up together. The pride is coming for you, Johnny. You better watch that angle. Nope. <laughs> Ronan gonna drop him. I know exactly where you are. Right here. And that's gonna give them Cypher ultimate with intel on all three members of the Eagles. Now in a 4v3. Still winnable though. There they are. And they are looking to be going and planting on B. Eagles know it now. Viper ult goes down as well as the Sova ult. Ooh, does get tagged by that last uh, Sova ultimate. And the Molly. Frosty gonna take the teleporter, but Clutchshire saw him and does get a the kill though, he was low on health. And it's a 3v3 now. As Wado gets one on Chris, it's a 2v3. Last Eagles running out of time, and they might just need to save here. Rona with three kills on the round as Wado picks up the last on Meech. And that's gonna do it. The Lions maybe looking to uh, make another comeback here as we're on the last round of the half. Eight to three. Eagles in the lead. Frosty gonna drop that ult immediately as a judge for himself. But, uh, Lion's not pushing up into it. Here's the Cypher going in and out of his camera. He knows they're around. Poison orb emitting. Poison's off. Has to abandon his ultimate there. Goes back in to fill it up. Lions still hanging time. around here. They do not want to walk through this Viper ult. You can tell they wanted to push up through Hookah here, but then Frosty just drops his ult and it just really stalled their plan. Now they're split off two and three. Three members coming up towards A. Meech about to find some. 30 seconds some. left. Oh, what a flick from Meech. Down Takes a. down Ronin. And they're throwing all their utility over here, but uh, it's not really providing too much value. Meech with a second one, going to teleport back behind U-Haul. Dodges it, but only 12 seconds left to plant. Johnny grabs another one. Wado gets one, but Chris trades him back. And there's not going to be enough time for uh, the Lions to plant here. Longman grabs the spike, but it's not going to be enough as Chris Rammers with the final kill. And it's 9-3 Eagles at the half. Switching sides.
Cianciani still at the top of the leaderboard here, 17 and 6 on the Reina. Wado doing work though for Wagyu. Sa Sagu? I don't know why I said Wagyu. Uh, 11 and 10 on the Sky. This Eagle's now on offense, going to have control of the spike. Looks like they're going to be doing a 3 2 split here. Or maybe Meech just leaving his card. Might be getting weird. Both teams loving the three ghosts setup. And they've used it every single pistol round so far. Cornflakes with a kill to start things off on Ronan. And Eagle's now using that to push up Conflict. Ogden gets tagged by Johnny. Ooh, Chris and Ogden uh, both get kills. Frosty gets another one, and Cornflakes can get the plant down. Spike planted. Last player. Johnny standing. gets another kill. Gonna heal himself up. Rain is so deadly on these pistol rounds. As Frosty's about to find Jericho looping around, he's the last player left alive for the Lions. And Frosty, great crosshair placement, gonna take him down with the ghost. And it's 10-3 Eagles. Three rounds away from a week one victory. Love to see it. Get off to a good start. 1-0. and We've got to take care of business here and close things out. Uh-oh. And it looks like Meech is disconnected. That's not good. Oh, he's back. He might be good. I don't know if he got a buy off. He did not get a buy off. That is unfortunate. But he is back at least. Great job looking away from the blind by Johnny. Doesn't find anybody in the corner there. Gonna throw down the eye. Oh, doesn't quite make it through the wall. <laughs> Frosty getting the plant down. Johnny just pushing up so confidently. Ronan grabs one. Johnny flicks over and gets one. Somehow gets out of there. As uh, Cornflakes grabs another one in the back end of that fight. One enemy remaining. Cornflakes and Johnny get two more. And a third for Johnny on the round. And it's 11 to 3. See, Johnny so enabled by Reina's kit. He's able to just win so many of these gunfights. And then he just gets healed right back up, and it's like it didn't happen. You can have another fair gunfight with the next opponent he sees. Gonna hit. He goes with great, great looking economy here, heading into round 14. 15, excuse me. No more charges. Jericho all alone defending B site. Uh, Plus Shar is going to rotate over to help him out. But uh, Johnny about to find him. What a nice kill with the marshal. Johnny gets one and a second. Wow. And he's healed almost back to full, just like that. And it's a 3v2. Frosty gonna get the plant down on A. It's Meech. Takes out the Roomba. But cannot take out Clutchshire, and it's now a 2v2. Johnny looking to clutch this one out again for the Eagles with the help of Frosty. Blind goes down, but doesn't find anyone's eyeballs. They're going to line up for Johnny, gets two instantly, is fourth of the round. That could not have been easier for Chef Master Fuego. As they just lined up perfectly for him. And the Eagles looking at a very confident match point here, up 12-3. to three. Just need to take care of business on one final round. And that'll be all she wrote. Goes down. Johnny wants to end it right here. The 
push up confidently through the uh, wall, through the Viper wall. Wow, what a shot by Johnny. He's so quick with those flicks. Spike down a. Watto trades one back. Ogden still watching that angle though. Johnny with another one. He's just so fast. Seagulls now rotating out. I'm gonna head to B. A 3v2 after the dust settles. As Frosty gets the plant down. Oh, and Clutchshire stops. Johnny Fuego's relentless assault. Rotating around now. Back of sight. As Frosty gonna get revealed by the tripwire, and Clutchshire gets the kill on him through the smoke. Chris Rammers finds the back of Jericho's head. Ooh, Clutch knows where he is. Chris just has to stall for time here. He's gonna satchel up, and Chris just runs away. He doesn't have time to defuse, and that's gonna be the game. Clutchshire cannot defuse in time. Chris just has to tag him once. And there it is! The bomb explodes! And the Eagles win the second map 13 to 3. They are gonna go up 1 and 0 on the season. Congratulations to them. A solid effort from the Lions, though, especially on ascent on map one. But Johnny Fue, you cannot say enough good things about this man. 433 combat score. 27 and 7 on the reina. Absolutely insane. Wada the MVP. For the Lions, 258 combat score, 15, 14, and 4 on the sky. And that's going to do it for tonight's stream, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we've got a hopefully a double header for you tomorrow. We're working on a reschedule for the Overwatch match that may start at 6. Uh, and then that will follow uh, be followed immediately by the uh, Rocket League Purple game, so which, which starts at 8. So... Um, Hop in the stream around 6. Hopefully there will be an Overwatch match for you. If the Overwatch match is not rescheduled to 6, then it'll be the Rocket League match followed immediately by the conclusion of the Overwatch match, which will be going on at the same time as the Rocket League match. And then off-stream, Orange Team will also be having their Rocket League match, uh, but that match will not be streamed this week. In any case, thank you for watching, everybody. Happy to get our first win of the season, the first win for the Valorant team. I'll see you all tomorrow at 6.